What's up guys, welcome back to the Roundtable, I'm Osher Vox, and we finally got the two episode titles for the Steven vs. May special airing in two weeks. That's right folks, we're two weeks away. Now these titles more or less solidify what we already predicted, in terms of the first episode being about Lapis, focusing on Lapis, and the second episode focusing on Pearl, and the beginning of Pearl and Rose's origins. Plus the International Australia promo also confirmed it, if you guys want to check that out, we broke it down. And we don't have a synopsis yet, but the title titles are Can't Go Back and A Single Pale Rose. The latter title, we have some things to talk about. But let's start at Can't Go Back. While it doesn't really need to be said, this is the sentiment, the mentality Lapis shares. That she can't go back to Earth under any circumstances, she already made a decision, and it likely doesn't matter how much she misses everyone, this is a choice she's sticking with. And of course, even if Lapis misses the Earth, that doesn't mean she can't check up on everyone. Once again, let's point to the Australian promo, Lapis can project Beach City with the Moon Orb, assumably in real time and assumably in any part of the world. So if the gems are on a mission or putting on plays of Jamie and Beach City, Lapis can be there to observe. And it's kind of messed up. It definitely reminds me of the mirror or the sheer fact that when she was on Earth, 9 out of 10 times when she did interact with the gems, she was silent. So the Cruderverse is definitely pulling at some heartstrings and I'm just hoping for some really good Lapis development, some good focus on her character. Beyond that, Let's talk about A Single Pale Rose. Oh, how a single episode title has so many meanings. Obviously from the title, you can deduce that this is a Rose Quartz episode, one that deals with Pearl. This is such an ominous sounding title as well. Not to mention, Pale Rose is the color of Pearl's hair. We know Pearl's hair has been classified as pink. The color of Rose is a shade of pink, so by that logic, Pearl Rose also represents Pearl. Not only that, but what everyone's thinking, if you call back to the Pearl Shattered Pink Diamond Theory, which again, longtime viewers know when Back to the Moon aired, that was my immediate thought. I made a theory on it, and even if I don't really believe in it that much anymore, it's still pretty cool to see entertained. But since Back to the Moon aired, a lot of people also came to that conclusion. It's a pretty common conclusion at this point that Pearl could have shattered Pink Time by shape-shifting into Rose, and if she did, she would have had the appearance of Rose, but her color palette would have been much paler. Again, white skin, pale pink hair. Seriously, go look at a pale rose flower. That's that's Pearl, that's Pearl. Even similar hair in a way, it's kind of crazy. Just just going out this episode title alone, with all that in mind, with the international promo in mind, I feel like I can confidently say, almost without a doubt, we are going to at least explore the possibility of Pearl shattering Pink Diamond, that this is something that's going to be insinuated. And my honest take on this, just like how the crew universe anticipated us for rooting for a Peridot redemption, or catching on to the fact Jasper would end up corrupted, as these are people who have been in fans before, who have made theories before, I feel as if this episode would have been in pre-production way before Back to the Moon even aired, before the Pearl Shattered Pink Diamond Theory gained traction, I think they anticipated for us to come to a conclusion that Pearl could have shattered Pink Diamond by shapeshifting, and they're exploring that here, but it's not the actual answer. Just like how we theorized a diamond could have shattered Pink Diamond beforehand. Before it was revealed Rose Shattered Pink Diamond, I made a video on the possibility of a diamond shattering pink diamond, that only a diamond could shatter another diamond. Eventually, the episode of the trial layers, what do they present? The possibility of a diamond being the culprit behind pink diamond's demise. And this isn't me saying, oh, I'm a super genius. This is me, like most of the fan base, wondering what the hell happened to pink diamond. For the longest time, she wasn't even acknowledged. Come to find out, indeed, yes, she's gone. First, it was pinned on Rose, then it was pinned on a diamond. Now we're pinning it on Pearl. Things the fandom as a collective has all done throughout the last three years. They're going to keep teasing us. They're going to keep throwing out every possibility until the truth is revealed. And I'm hoping that the truth will be simple, not too complex, but still something that not a lot of people saw coming. Because let's think of just how many fan theories the show has entertained in the past season alone. Again, a diamond shattering pink diamond. Pink diamond still being alive at the end of your mother and mine. I feel like they're kind of playing with the angle of Rose or Steven being pink diamond through the sheer fact he can even see Pink Diamond's memories, although I still don't agree with that theory. And yeah, now Pearl Shattering Pink Diamond. This season <laughs> seems to be the accumulation of the fandom's best bets, their best ideas coming together. And everyone 
everyone's playing for different sides. A lot of people just want Rose to be the one to share Pink Diamond. Straightforward, simple as that. Some people want Rose to be Pink Diamond. Some people want Pearl to shatter Pink Diamond. And everyone disagrees with everyone. They're like, no, no, that doesn't make sense from a narrative standpoint. No, that doesn't make sense from a narrative standpoint. They're messing with our heads. And I definitely think we're going to learn a lot more about Pearl throughout these episodes. Not just this one. This is going to be the first of many. But I don't know if we're going to get a concrete answer here. It just feels way too early in the season. But on the other hand, if Steven is under the impression that Pearl shattered Pink Diamond and he attempts to talk to Pearl about it and he gets somewhat of a truth out of her and then that still doesn't end up being the case, then things may get more convoluted than I would like. But hey, that's just me. Regardless, Lapis development, Pearl insight, furthering of the Pink Diamond murder mystery. Sounds like a pretty damn good special to me and I'm positive by the end of the special, we are going to get answers. Not big answers, just some answers, some revelation. I think the Moon Ord's purpose is an answer all in itself, but if we get to learn more about Lapis's past and in conjunction with Pearl's past, and the likelihood of a new song or two, then I think this is the Steven Universe we've been, you know, waiting to get back. So those are my reasons for being excited. Again, a single Pearl Rose that it's so genius because that title alone represents both Pearl and Rose. And I, oh my God, I'm just really, really happy. But what do you guys think? Do these episode titles get you excited? Are your expectations still a bit lower just because of everything that's happened throughout the series? Or do you think this is finally the turning point where we're going to get answers and it's going to be a damn good time? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your thoughts, your ideas directly to me at Ostrich Vox. We're at the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. Want to help the Roundtable grow? Join the Roundtable and subscribe to us on Patreon. Get access to our avatars, our scripts, exclusive perks, and have your name featured at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Also, swing by our Teespring store. Pick up some merch. Links to everything in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications and stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox out.